Hi, I'm the fourth and fifth grade advisor, Mrs. Green, and I'm going to show you a little bit about how to navigate through your courses. For this video, I've logged in as a demonstration student, so this is not a real student. I also am using a fifth grade science course. However, you need to know that the courses are set up in a similar way and the navigation tools will be the same. Every course has a landing page. That's your welcome page right when you log in. For my course, which is this course, we have um, my Bitmoji and a little bit of information. For math, you might see a video. In language arts, you might see a video and some other things. Each teacher personalizes their landing page. Every landing page will have a link for you to click to a discussion-based assessment calendar. This is a way for you to sign up for some one-on-one -on -one help or a discussion-based assessment with your teacher when you're at home or not at school on school campus. So just know that every landing page should have a link for that teacher's calendar. As you scroll down, you will see the activities. I think of this as a file cabinet. So when you open your file cabinet, you have your big folders. And each folder contains lessons. The lessons are organized by modules, which is another word for unit. Let's open up a module. You can see here that when we open up, all of our lessons and assignments appear, okay? When you see a piece of paper that looks like it's folded over, that's a lesson. When you see an, um, a picture that has circles and check marks, that means it's a quiz. I'm going to scroll down a little bit more, and when you see an icon that looks like a piece of paper with squares and lines, that means it's a written assignment that you will need to turn in. These green check marks mean that I have visited these lessons and I have gone, um, I've opened the lesson or I've opened the quiz and that just means check you've opened it. It does not mean that you've gone through the lesson, it just means that you've opened it. I'm going to scroll back up for just a minute and talk about this to-do list. I really want you to ignore this to-do list. It's confusing and it's not always accurate. So when you get your courses, click on it if you'd like just to look, but just know don't follow what it tells you to do, okay? You're going to want to keep track of your own lessons and what you've decided. Every single course starts with a module pretest in each module. The module pretests do not count towards your final grade, but you do need to take them. It's a pretest. You're not supposed to know everything, but we do want to see how much information and how much prior knowledge you're bringing to this module. I'm going to go ahead and click on the first lesson in this course so that you can learn about some navigation tools. To navigate through your lessons, which means you're going to turn the page, you're going to use these arrows. Keep in mind that when you open a page, you'll have to scroll up and down and read everything on the page, okay? But if, I want, if I've read everything and I've done the activities and I want to go to the next page, I will click that arrow. There are lots of interactives within your lesson, which means you might have to click on some things to see if you're correct. Okay, oh look, I'm correct. If I click this, okay, let's see if I'm right. Oh no, the chair is a solid. It's a way to check your understanding as you go along. Some of you may want to see how many slides are in a lesson so you can plan your time accordingly. If you click on My Progress, this lesson in particular has 10 slides and I've done, I'm on slide two, okay? There are some other really neat tools. There's the glossary to help you um, know the definitions of words that are in your course. You can print each page of your lesson there's a checklist for the module. There are some resources, but most of the resources you need will be built into the lesson. There is a toolbox, and if we click on that, you can see you have a calculator, a stopwatch, and an analog clock. 
there's a text selector too. So if I select something that's important to me that I'd like to draw attention to, I can highlight. I could underline it. I can scratch through some things if I need to or make it bold. The one that I think might, might be the most helpful is the highlighter. You can also bookmark the page that you are on so that you can come back to it later. There is a speech tool that helps you, um, that reads it to you. And I'm not sure, let's see. It was already up. So you can see that she reads it just like a computer would. It's not going to be the most entertaining, but sometimes if you're tired or you need to process all of this writing in a different way, then um, you might want to use the speech tool occasionally. Feel free to click around on the different tools and try them out to see if any of them work for you. Okay, now I want to go um, through my lesson and I'm going to skip to the last page of this lesson. The last page of every lesson tells you what your assignment is going to be. So the lesson wrap up, you should have read the lesson, check. I should have completed all the activities in this lesson, check. Now it says complete and submit the quiz. Well, there are two ways you can get to the quiz. I can't click this arrow. It takes me to the very next lesson without taking me to the quiz first. So what I want to do is either click this arrow or I can just exit out and I can open my quiz. Okay, when I'm ready to take, usually this says start, but because I've um, used this quiz in another video, it says I can retake it. But most of the time it will say start and you can just click start right there. 